is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon and welcome to Live at 4. The fate of the state's top elections official is in the hands of Wisconsin's seven Supreme Court justices. Yeah, earlier today they heard arguments in Wisconsin Elections Commission versus Devin Lemahue, a case that will decide whether WEC Administrator Megan Wolf can remain in her post despite not being reappointed and confirmed by the state Senate. In June of 2023, a vote to reappoint Wolf after her term expired ended in partisan deadlock as Republican lawmakers called for her to resign amid conspiracy theories Series. She helped rig Wisconsin's 2020 presidential election results in favor of President Joe Biden. Despite this, the GOP-controlled Senate voted to fire her in September of 2023. Democratic Attorney General Josh Call, though, sued to challenge that vote. A month later, the GOP would admit their vote had no legal effect. Then in January of this year, a Dane County judge ruled Wolf was holding her position lawfully. One month later, though, the legislature appealed that ruling to the high court. That brings us to where we are today. Joining us now with what we heard inside the Capitol today, Maddie Heimsch. Maddie. Yeah, to set the scene for today's oral arguments about whether or not Wolf can rightfully hold on to her seat past that term date, we need to address a similar case heard by the state Supreme Court back in 2022. Now, that case saw Scott Walker appointee Fred P Fred Prane, former head of the Wisconsin Natural Resources Board, hold on to his chair past his term. So we heard a few of the judges draw comparisons to the Prane case today, essentially arguing that removing Wolf after her term would be a double standard after allowing Prane to overstay his. The attorney representing the Republican-controlled legislature argues the opposite, saying Prane's case was simply the result of a disagreement between the governor and the Senate. Here we have three essentially bureaucrats who have no constitutional status holding the, the chief election officer appointment hostage away from the people. Uh, and this, is, this is night and day from, from praying. The attorney for the Elections Commission in favor of allowing Wolf to serve beyond her term in what's called a holdover appointment argues that she is one, legally within her right to do so, and two, that stability is an important factor in the role of an elections official. We'll have more on the full oral arguments tonight on News 3 Now at 5, and the state's high court should make their final ruling on the case within a couple months. Maddie, thank you. Let's get a look at your first war and forecast. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington is here because uh, it's been kind of rainy out. Yeah, it's, it's, a little, it's a little on the rainy side. I, I could go out in the patio with the umbrella, but I figured... I think I'm going to stay inside today because the rain is coming down in a decent clip. And we see that on Radar 3000 where you see green and some of those darker greens right over downtown Madison at some of those heavier areas, those heavier pockets right along the Beltline. So no doubt if you're driving this evening across all of southern Wisconsin, heavy rainfall and temperatures in the upper 40s to the lower 50s, it's actually pretty mild for this time of year. Some heavier showers are now starting to enter far southwestern Wisconsin. And we can use our friend the Future Track model to show you the widespread nature of our showers. Maybe a brief break mid-evening before showers and a clap of or two of thunder move in as we head towards 10, 11 o'clock in the morning and the shower activity is going to continue through the entire night. So it's pretty clear as we plan your evening what the weather is going to be like. Temperatures in the upper 40s, then climbing into the 50s as warmer air moves into southern Wisconsin with a good chance of rain for all of southern Wisconsin. Coming up a little bit in Maine weather, we're going to show you well, how much water will we get out of this whole weather system, which we desperately need because it is dry out there. We'll talk about that in a few minutes and also well, I know it's raining out there, but you may not be thinking about winter weather quite yet, although there's some in the forecast. This week, during our Live at Four shows, we're going to talk about several aspects to winter weather. We're going to talk about the La Nina winter weather expected, that pattern over the course of this year, this week, during our Live at Four shows. Also, Savannah's talking about them during the morning shows as well. There's a couple different types of winter storms. They have some nifty names. We're going to name them and discuss their terminology and how they form. And also other winter weather terminology like watches and warnings and advisories and changes to our wind chill advisories and warnings and watches that we've been using for many, many years. And of course, we have to have some winter weather preparedness to make sure your car and your home and your pets are prepared for adverse winter weather and also a little bit later in the newscast you got to be tuning in because I've got a contest for southern Wisconsin that future that features viewers and winter weather that's coming up thank you Alex 
To continuing coverage of the Elijah Vu case, today in court, the man charged in the three-year-old's death pleaded not guilty. Jesse Vang was arraigned for charges that include chronic child neglect, physical abuse of a child causing death, and hiding a corpse. The boyfriend of Vu's mother, Katrina Bauer, reported the toddler missing from Two Rivers in February. The couple was arrested for child neglect days later. In September, a hunter found human remains in the woods in Manitowoc County. Police confirmed it was Vu. Last month, both Bauer and Vang were charged with the child's death. Bauer has pleaded not guilty as well. Well, today at 4, we are learning new information about Wisconsin's U.S. Senate race. Republican candidate Eric Hovde has officially conceded. He did so through a six-minute long video posted on X. And our Merrill Hubbard is here to break this all down. Merrill? Yeah, Brady Braden, it's time to move on, was Eric Hovde's caption to his video, where he explained why he chose not to recount the ballots and ultimately decided to concede the election. Hovde started the video by repeating the issues he ran his campaign on, saying that he is most concerned with the U.S government's debt crisis, domestic security, international security, and the political division and rhetoric the country is facing. He continued to say the election results were disappointing for his campaign and raised concerns about the legitimacy of the vote. He alluded that the absentee ballots that get reported late into the night lacked integrity, and he says a recount would not do anything to change that. A request for a recount would serve no purpose because you will just be recounting the same ballots regardless of their integrity. As a result, and my desire to not add to political strife through a contentious recount, I've decided to concede the election. In Wisconsin, Senator Tammy Baldwin received more than 29,000 more votes than Hovde. The final count came in the morning after Election Day when the last absentee ballots were reported in Milwaukee around 4 a.m. Now, Hovde could have requested a recount because the margin of defeat was less than one percentage point, but he would have had to pay for that himself. Meryl, thank you. Well, a heads up, Television Wisconsin is your home for five must-see matchups with the, with the Milwaukee Bucks this season. Now, here's the list. You can watch the Bucks play at the play the Atlanta Hawks at 7 on December 7th, the San Antonio Spurs at 7 on January 31st, the Minnesota Timberwolves at 7 on January 12th, the Dallas Mavericks at 7.30 on March 1st, and the Denver Nuggets at 8 on March 26th. Is that why you're wearing green? That you're so is why. excited. So excited for the Bucks. <laughs> I almost made a mention of of the fact that the Timberwolves might be our oh, home team. That's Me and right. Brady are oh, both Minnesotans. Minnesota Traders. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go Bucks. All right, coming up on Live at 4, how President-elect Trump's plan for mass deportation is shaping up two months out from when he's set to take office. And how much money President Biden is asking Congress to approve for disaster relief. That's coming up. Nobody wants to put a new roof over their head. It's too expensive. And if they can extend the life of that roof and get five more years or 10 more years, it's a no-brainer. What RoofMax does is it helps people in that they don't have to spend that $15,000, $20,000 on a new roof. They can spend pennies on the dollar. The RoofMax product was a small percentage of cost of replacing a roof. This is a great financial decision for us as a community. It's no secret, Robertson is Wisconsin's aesthetic leader, but with results this natural, patients can keep it a secret if they want. Our secret to reducing stubborn body fat, Cool Sculpting Elite, the newest technology available. Book a free consultation to learn how Cool Sculpting is different at Robertson. I didn't know it, but my back pain was coming from my feet. My personalized art support system from the Good Feet Store got me back in the picture. Clinically proven to provide significant pain relief in only four weeks. Book your free fitting at goodfeet.com. Hi, my name is Damian Clark. If you have both Medicare and Medicaid, I have some really encouraging news that you'll definitely want to hear. Depending on the plans available in your area, you may be eligible to get extra benefits with the Humana Medicare Advantage Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. Most plans include the Humana Healthy Options Allowance, a monthly allowance to help pay for eligible groceries, utilities, rent, and over-the-counter items. The Healthy Options Allowance is loaded onto a prepaid card each month. And whatever you don't spend carries over from each month. Plus, your doctor, hospital, and pharmacy may already be part of our large Humana networks. So call the number on your screen now and ask about a Humana Medicare Advantage dual eligible special needs plan. And remember, annual enrollment ends on December 7th. Humana. 
a more human way to healthcare. Lumino is the first fluoride-free toothpaste I've ever found that actually works. My dentist was blown away with how clean and white my teeth are. My gums and teeth are so healthy, it's crazy. You can get Lumino toothpaste at Walmart and Target. Shop the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. Lease a new Silverado 1500 starting at $355 a month or a 24 Equinox EV starting at $279 a month. Stop in or shop and purchase at BergstromMadison.com. Getting older is part of the journey, even with worsening heart failure. So when I had carpal tunnel syndrome, lower back pain, and shortness of breath, I thought that's what getting older felt like. Thank goodness I called my cardiologist. I have ATTRCM, a rare but serious disease, and getting diagnosed early made a difference. If you have any of these warning signs, don't wait. Ask your cardiologist about ATTRCM today. Oh, check your fridge. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is investigating a deadly multi-state outbreak of E. coli linked to whole and baby organic carrots. The carrots, supplied from Grimway Farms, were sold at multiple retailers, including Trader Joe's, Walmart, Target, and Whole Foods. The recalled baby carrots best if used by dates range from September 11th to November 12th. That range is August 14th to October 23rd for the whole carrots. Altogether, 39 people were infected, 15 were hospitalized, and one person died. If you have any of these recalled carrots, throw them away. A full list of brands affected are on the CDC's website. Prosecutors in charge of the sex trafficking case against Sean Diddy Combs say the former music mogul is trying to obstruct justice from jail. They say notes from his jail cell and recorded jail calls to his family show Combs is trying to influence witnesses ahead of his trial. Meanwhile, lawyers for Combs say federal prosecutors violated their client's constitutional rights when they obtained his jail notes. Combs is due in court on Friday where his lawyers will try for a third time to get him released on bond. President Joe Biden is weighing in after a group of neo-Nazis marched through Columbus, Ohio over the weekend. In a statement, the White House says the hateful poison of Nazism is hostile to everything the United States stands for, including protecting the dignity of all our citizens and the freedom to worship. The group marched in a neighborhood in Ohio's capital this Saturday. About a week after, a similar group stood outside of a community theater performance of The Diary of Anne Frank in Michigan. The Anti-Defamation League says events organized or attended by white supremacists were at a record high last year. President Biden is using his final weeks in office to okay Ukraine's use of American ballistic missiles for attacks inside Russia. The U.S. supplied Ukraine with the Army tactical missile system last year. It can strike targets up to 190 miles away. The White House had concerns using the weapons on targets in Russia would escalate the war. But after thousands of North Korean troops joined Russian forces, experts say the Biden administration was pushed to act. The Biden administration is also urging Congress to quickly pass a massive disaster relief spending bill. Nearly half of the roughly $100 billion requested will go to FEMA's disaster relief fund. The bill also includes funding for other agencies, including departments of agriculture, transportation, and the Small Business Administration. The request comes as Americans in the Southeast are still cleaning up from major back-to-back -back hurricanes, Helene and Milton. Congressional leadership must now decide whether to take up the request as a standalone bill or packaged with the end of the year spending bill. Meanwhile, the president-elect is sorting out who will fill a few senior positions within his administration. It comes as he continues to prepare for a controversial immigrant deportation plan. Christian Benavidez reports. President-elect Donald Trump spent part of the weekend surrounded by supporters at a UFC fight in New York. It was a rare trip from his Florida state where he continues to work on cabinet picks. Trump had been considering transition co-chair Howard Lutnick and hedge fund manager Scott Bessent to lead Treasury. Bessent made his case on Fox and Friends. Under Donald Trump, we could have a golden age for the next four years. We can bring back the manufacturing. We could have energy dominance. Trump is also using social media to play up plans to carry out mass deportations of undocumented immigrants, starting on his first day. Trump posted that his mass deportation program will involve declaring a national emergency and using military assets. It's going to be a targeted enforcement operation concentrating on criminals and national security 
threats first. There are an estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants living in the U.S. Deporting them could cost billions of dollars. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, West Palm Beach, Florida. Tom Homan, who will lead ICE under Trump, admitted there will be costs up front for the deportations, but says he believes it will save the country money in the long run. A new study from the Pew Research Center says one-fifth of Americans get their news from influencers on social media. Nearly 40 percent of adults under the age of 30 say they get news from independent social media figures. Experts say this is problematic because it makes it easier for misinformation to spread. The biggest platform for news influencers is X, previously Twitter. That's followed by Instagram and then YouTube. Spirit Airlines is filing for bankruptcy. The airline says guests can continue to book and fly as normal as it restructures its debt. Because of the filing, the company expects its common stock to be canceled and have no value. Spirit was left with little options as it faced mounting losses and $3.1 billion in long-term debt. It's possible Spirit can file for bankruptcy and emerge stronger on the other side. But another airline could buy it or it could be forced to liquidate. Well, let's get another look at your first worn forecast. Alex Harrington is here. Hey, Alex, a little gloomy today. Yeah, a little bit on the gloomy side. One of those raw, late fall-like days. No snow, though, yet in this part of our forecast, but there is snow in the forecast, and we need to talk about winter weather preparedness, too, in this forecast as well. But all rain, really mild temperatures as we progress through the night, actually increasing overnight. Jacob will be here at 6 and at 10 to give you the latest on our rainfall across southern Wisconsin, which is widespread west to east, maybe even some heavier showers between Platteville and Darlington right now. Future track showing widespread showers and perhaps a brief break right around 7, 8 o'clock before more showers and maybe a couple of claps of thunder move into southern Wisconsin. It's going to be a rainy night. Widespread amounts, half inch, three quarters of an inch Madison in places off towards the east. You could use a little bit more in south East Wisconsin, where it's still a little bit more dry than areas north and west of Madison that have seen more appreciable rains, looking at one to maybe an inch and a half. But overall, widespread rain across all of southern Wisconsin expected tonight. Uh, low temperatures, which are waking up to in the morning. I had to look at this for a second here and remind myself that average low temperatures are in the upper 20s. Nowhere near that, uh, anywhere between 20 to 30 degrees above normal. So a warm night, windy conditions, and heavy rainfall. Rain ends as we go into Tuesday morning. Temperatures in the mid, maybe upper 50s, if we can get a peak or two of that sunshine with average highs around 44. Then things change. We've been talking about the potential for wintry weather this week. Wednesday going into Thursday, I do think we'll have a mix of rain and snow showers. And heads up, next week is looking active with the potential of two to maybe even three weather systems that could bring a mix of precipitation to the Midwest. Mentioned earlier, topic number one for winter weather awareness a week. We're heading into a La Nina weather pattern, which really is when the sea surface temperatures off the coast of South America are cooler than normal. And what happens is that makes a bulge in the jet stream. That's that river of air that our weather systems ride on. And then as that river of air dives into the United States, it brings cooler than normal temperatures to the upper Midwest and also wetter than normal conditions in the upper Midwest in the Great Lakes region. And this year we're expecting above normal precipitation, which could mean that we're going to have more in the way of snowfall this winter. Now I'm going to step out of the way because this is a slightly busy slide. This is our contest throughout winter weather awareness week. It's called frozen in time. We've never done this in Channel 3, and we really are excited about it. We want you to submit to First Warn at WISCTV.com or get your phone out right now, scan that QR code. We want to hear your memorable winter weather stories. Maybe it was the December blizzard of 1990 or the ice storm of March of 1976. Best stories we will feature throughout the winter on our Live at 4 newscast on the day that they occurred. So, for example, the March 1976 ice storm, I don't remember that one, but my family uh, did in southwest Wisconsin. Maybe you have a story and pictures. And when we get into March of 2025, we'll feature your story and those pictures live during our Live at 
for newscast. So more on this. We'll keep showing you that potential contest and uh, directions and so forth throughout the rest of this week of winter awareness, winter weather awareness week. And speaking of winter weather, here's that 10 day forecast with the scattered snow shower activity Wednesday and Thursday. Windy conditions then quiet and next week you're going to want to be tuning in all week for the latest forecast from the first run weather team as next week's a busy travel week and we could be looking at wintry precipitation mm -hmm. across much of the Midwest. I like your little Santa hat in yeah, that photo. Go back, go back and put that back I on there it. if you want to scan the QR code. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, we've never done this before where we're able to showcase viewer stories about winter weather. We're always talking about winter weather stuff here. Let's hear your winter weather story. Yeah, this is a great idea. I have to start thinking of mine, though. I don't know if I have any that come to mind. Do you well, have any? Uh, probably that Halloween blizzard in Minnesota. Mm, yeah. yeah. It used to be a thing. I remember it used to be a thing. It was like yeah. every year it would snow on Halloween. Remember, remember this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you've seen the University Avenue Christmas lights, but do you know the story behind them? I do, but you guys will find out soon. Josh Spider is illuminating the history behind the lights in the 608. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. I need help for my mom. She has dementia. She's been to the ER twice this week. I just want her to be comfortable in the time she has left. I want a grace so mom can get care at home in a place she knows. You know what people say about them? I can't imagine better support through such a painful time. As a caregiver, that's what I needed to hear. Call a grace and find out for yourself. A grace, authentic care and connection. Visit agrace.org to learn how a grace can connect with you. The holidays. So and holiday together. trips. And holiday toys. And holiday bonding. And it all comes together in a Chevrolet. Qualified lessees can get this Equinox for around $2.99 a month. Or find your red tag and get 0% financing on the all-new 2025 Equinox. COVID-19. I'm not waiting. If it's COVID, Paxlovid. Paxlovid is an oral treatment for adults with mild to moderate COVID-19 and a high risk factor for it becoming severe. It does not prevent COVID-19. My symptoms are mild now, but I'm not risking it. If it's COVID, Paxlovid. Paxlovid must be taken within the first five days of symptoms and help stop the virus from multiplying in your body. Taking Paxlovid with certain medicines can lead to serious or life-threatening side effects or affect how it or other medicines work, including hormonal birth control. It's critical to tell your doctor about all the medicines you take because certain tests or changes in their dosage may be needed. Tell your doctor if you have kidney or liver problems, HIV-1, are or plan to become pregnant or breastfeed. Don't take Paxlovid if you're allergic to Nermatrelvir, Ritonavir, or any of its ingredients. Serious side effects can include allergic reactions, some severe, like anaphylaxis, and liver problems. These are not all the possible side effects, so talk to your doctor. If it's COVID, Paxlovid. Ask your doctor today. There's a fine line between gorgeous and Griswold. Don't get tangled up this season. Instead, enhance your home with Cardinal's smart outdoor lighting solutions. You'll spend less time dangling off a ladder and more time enjoying what really matters. We'll install smart outdoor lighting solutions catered to your needs so you can go from fancy to festive with just one tap. Light up your home like never before. Book online and save 10% on smart outdoor lighting solutions with Cardinal. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. I feel like I'm dressed a little Christmassy today. You're ready. Yeah, ready for I'm the ready. bucks and the holidays. Uh, lights are going up, trees are going up. I love it. And lights are going up on University Avenue. Today we're learning the story behind those holiday lights. Josh Spreider is in the 608 on Madison's near west side with how you can help keep the lights on. 
You've probably driven by this stretch on Madison's near west side, and now we're learning the story behind the University Avenue holiday lights. Dr. Chris Cameron is joining us here on News 3 Now. Chris, good, hey, good to see you. Good to see you. You know, this has been such a fantastic part of Madison, and your dad was the one that started this how many years ago? Oh, my gosh. Almost 30 years ago. Wow. In fact, way before, over 30 years ago, because he planted all these trees. Uh, about five years before even they were even tall enough to put lights on. So, so the first year of the lights, I believe, 96. And now they've been lighting up Madison's Zero West Side for ever since then. Ever since then, yeah, yeah. And now you keep it going? Doing my best, but it's not just me. I've got all the good people in Madison. It's a nonprofit, so uh, people donate money to help us buy new lights and, uh, and keep it going. So I've got volunteers, we've got people that donate, and... Uh, so it's it's a community thing, and it's a it's it's a beautiful. I just love it. I love it. It brings the community together, and it's just there to make you smile. My dad, when he when he decided he wanted to put lights, when we planted these trees, and yes, and I did help him plant them when I was a little boy. No, I'm uh, well, well, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and he said he wanted to light them up one day. We just thought that seems like you sure that's a lot of trees because it used to be 226. Now they put the University Bay Drive bridge over here. And so we had to remove some of the trees, but that just made that just made us want to put more lights on the and trees. And made them brighter. They're brighter, and the and the lights are brighter, and they're they're packed tighter. So it's it's tighter and brighter <laughs> this year. So check it out, people. University Avenue, all those lights. I love it. So how can people help you in keeping your mission alive here moving forward? Yeah, just you know, just check out. You can donate on our Facebook page or on our uh, website, the University Avenue Holiday Lights. Uh, you find it either on Facebook or on, on the web. And yeah, and people, there's a, like a PayPal link or something, people contribute all year long. We've already, the donations are already coming in this year. Um, we have, at some point, we've got to work on the electrical because as, as, when it rains, that's the thing, like if you drive by and there's ever a section out and if it, that means it's either raining right now or it just rains just within rains. the last 24 hours, the circuitry underneath gets a little soggy, so we got to, uh, fix that up. So that might be a big investment at some point in time. Well, hey. But right now we just keep the lights on, keep it going. And you're making people smile, which that is That was my so dad's important. purpose. He said he didn't he didn't care what holiday you were celebrating, whether you celebrated the holidays or not. Just this is a just a wonderful time of year and he wanted people to just drive by and get a smile. His dental practice used to be right here as well. So um, uh, it's all for the city of Madison because he loved the city of Madison. It was very very kind and good to him. And he dedicated it to his mama, Styles, who was his foster mother when he was like a baby. Wow. Yeah. So um, anyway, it's just it's just a heartwarming thing, and, and it's uh, for you, Madison. Uh, check it out, and you, you've probably seen it, but if you haven't, it's the lights are tighter and brighter. This Very year. bright. Yeah, I so. love it. You won't miss it. No, don't miss it. Don't miss it. That's good. Chris, thank you so much for sharing your family story. We appreciate it. My pleasure, Josh. Good to be here. Yes. Thanks. If you'd like to learn more about the University Avenue Holiday Lights, just go to the story up on channel3000.com. In Madison, I'm Josh Brighter, News 3 Now. So pretty. Such holiday cheer, those lights spread. Yeah. Right? I yeah. love driving by those. <laughs> well, coming up on Live at 4 with Thanksgiving less than two weeks away, many Americans are preparing to travel. Good luck, everyone. How many Wisconsinites AAA is projecting will hit the road next week when we come back? Dr. Ashish M. Ravel on December 5th at 5.30 p.m. to learn about the causes of shoulder pain and pain relief options. To register for the free online educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. We're unboxing unbeatable values for your home every Friday in November because every day is like Black Friday at Bob's. And our second unboxing is Black Friday clearance. I'm making room for new styles and passing the savings along to you on sleeper sofas, dining, bedrooms, decor, and more. But move fast because when they're gone, they're gone, Mr. Gnome. Good thing new values are added every day. So check back every Friday for a new unboxing because every day is like Black Friday when you dare to compare at Bob's. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. A Medicare Advantage plan from Dean Health Plan gives you the benefits you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. Medical, hospital, and prescription drug coverage comes with $0 copays for primary care doctor visits. And extra benefits can help you save even more. Get preventive and comprehensive dental. 
$250 for eyewear and $750 for hearing aids. Plus, you can save on over-the-counter health and wellness items. All this and free fitness memberships at more than 25,000 locations. Call 1-888-296-4080 today to get your free Dean Health Plan Medicare Advantage Guide. That's 1-888-296-4080. Dean Health Plan, right here with you. The excellence of driving a Buick is matched by the excellence of the dealership experience when you own a Buick. Buick, exceptional by design. Get 0.9% APR, plus current eligible non-GM owners get 3,000 purchase allowance on this 2024 Encore GX. For attractive offers, visit these Buick dealers today. Join Dr. Ashish M. Ravel on December 5th at 5.30 p.m. to learn about the causes of shoulder pain and pain relief options. To register for the free online educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. All right, I won't lie. This morning I thought, what if I just stay home today? <laughs> it is so gloomy. It is like, like under the covers, yeah. candle lit. Soup, crock pot, soup. weather. You know yeah. how we love mm -hmm. soup. It would be a super day for that. We have oh, <laughs> <laughs> weather to start the week. Oh, Alex. Take it take away, a, Alex. Take this over. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all of that's part of the three things that you need to know. A good night for a hot cup of soup as rain will continue to fall, expecting one to two inches of rain overnight across much of southern Wisconsin. We've been first to mentioning the possibility of this weather system and then it meandering and then a mix. That's a possibility still as we go Wednesday into Thursday and I'll be first to let you know that next week is looking active across much of the Midwest including Wisconsin still too early to pinpoint the exact timing of these weather systems and whether or not they're going to bring rain snow or a mix of both but I want to let you know now to prepare ahead of time that next week if you are traveling there could be some bumps in the road next week with travel across the Midwest right now Dane County you are, are fully green that means there's rain from west to east across all of Dane County some of the heavier rainfall right now along 151 if you're heading southwest or, or excuse me southwest or northeast stretching from Verona up into the southwestern portion of the Beltline area near McKee Road coming down at a decent clip across the rest of southern Wisconsin also some heavier rain uh, filling in over portions of southwestern Wisconsin I want to highlight this too because temperatures near Dubuque are in the low to mid 50s even upper 50s in Dubuque and that warmer air is moving towards the north and towards the east that will support the chance of a clap or two of thunder tonight not expecting any severe weather but a good soaking beneficial rain I know it's kind of on the gloomy side but at least this rainfall is going to help to alleviate some of the dry conditions so follow the yellow line here not the yellow brick road but the yellow line expect to get wet now through 10 o'clock carrying all the way till about five six o'clock tomorrow morning and then we go dry as we go into Tuesday so it's a rainy night tonight Tuesday I'm not expecting much in the way of rainfall although coming up in my next weather we're going to talk about the Wednesday Thursday snow potential an active week next week with winter weather potential and also we're going to remind folks about our winter weather awareness week contest that's coming up. Very nice. Thanks, Alex. We are also just a little more than a week away from Thanksgiving, and you know what that means. Another busy period for traveling. Ah, uh, Thanksgiving. Well, mm. News 3 Now's Kyle Pazorski joins us with what to expect, and he's got some tips for us, too. Hey, Kyle. Yeah, and this actually might bring one of the single busiest travel days of the year. This year, AAA is expecting nearly 80 million people will travel at least 50 miles over the holiday week, and that estimate is one up 1 million over what was seen last year. The numbers have continued to go up by that same amount around each year, aside from those impacted by the pandemic. Now, most people will be getting to their destination by car, and this is good news because gas prices continue to go down nationally. However, airports are also expecting large crowds, but prices there are about 3% higher. 
So if you're looking to get away this year, we got a few tips. If you can go earlier by beginning your travel on Monday instead of on Tuesday, and furthermore, the busiest day will likely be Sunday, the uh, 1st of December. So try to avoid that by coming back on the Saturday or Monday following your Thanksgiving feast. Thanks for those tips, Kyle. Jurors will be at the Dane County Courthouse later this week for the trial of a former pool employee charged with sexually assaulting kids on the job. The Dane County District Attorney charged 70-year-old James Miker with three counts of second-degree sexual assault of a child. Miker was an Oregon community pool employee at the time of the alleged assaults. A criminal complaint alleged that he groped children in July of the year before. A victim allegedly told his mother Miker groped him twice well in the pool. The victim's mother told the pool supervisor about the incidents. Her son was switched to a different instructor the following week, but Micah continued teaching other children. When the mother asked the pool director about the change in instructor, he reportedly said it was the only thing they could do due to staffing shortages. The same thing allegedly happened to another child. Micah's trial begins tomorrow at 8.30 Wednesday morning. Wall Street rising today after last week's slide. Most U.S. stocks ticked higher. The S&P 500 up 0.4%, the Nasdaq up 0.6%, meanwhile the Dow lost 0.1%. The legacy of Act 10 runs deep, defining the Wisconsin workforce and politics for the last 13 years. But all that could change as a Dane County judge prepares to strike down a major portion of the law. Political reporter Will Keneally looked into those lasting impacts and joins us with more. Hey Will. Well, we're looking at these lasting effects in two ways. It's all about power. So not only the power of the union employees in their workplace, but also the political power that they have to advocate advocate for themselves at the state capitol. And for some union workers, the prospect of Act 10 being repealed would make a world of difference for them. It has just been a devastating thing to uh, Wisconsin, really, to the working class, uh, to, to limit us to have our freedom of, of voice, you know, our freedom of speech, freedom to gather, all that kind of stuff. I think that's just unconstitutional to, to prevent that. So where does that stand now? We're waiting for that Dane County judge to issue his final ruling to strike down that law. Now, he has already indicated a little bit how he will rule. He said that the law threats uh, first, treats first responders differently than all other state employees. And that kind of distinction there is unconstitutional. So what were some of the immediate impacts we saw in the wake of Act 10? Yeah, we saw uh, certainly a decline in union membership. Uh, one saw their in, uh, decrease uh, their membership by 46 percent and that's the main uh, union that covers all the kind of municipal county workers at the state level. We also saw a significant uh, decrease in their revenue. Um, so when we track you know political action committees as they you know donate to campaigns that kind of stuff uh, we saw one uh, drop by about two-thirds in the four years around uh, 2011. So uh, a significant and kind of immediate impact there for sure. What are the feelings you were picking up on? I mean, as you're talking to people ahead of this ruling that we expect could change a lot, what are people feeling? kind of about this. Yeah, exactly. So uh, the person that we talked to there, he's an engineer at the Racine Unified School District. So he kind of, you know, helps, uh, you know, uh, fix the heaters, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he was saying that uh, it really changed just the tenor of the workplace, even within the first year of Act 10 uh, being passed. Um, he said, you know, it creates a lot more competition, a uh, lot fewer protections for the employees. Um, so he would welcome kind of a return to that to just uh, change the tenor uh, of the workplace mm -hmm. for sure. Gotcha. Thank you so much, Will. Well, yeah. And you can watch Will's report on what's next for unions after Act 10 later on News 3 Now. His full story airs tonight on News 3 Now at 6. You'll also be able to find it on channel3000.com. Well, despite its $250 million budget, viewers found the new Christmas movie, Red One, rather ho, 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 hum. <laughs> and you did it very well on that. <laughs> Thank you. Will Loper looks at how the film opened and if it will be a holiday staple in the future in the Loper Report. When it comes to winning internet, TDS is in a league of our own. Just like the Green Bay Packers, Wisconsin born and bred, we live, work, play, hire, and get involved in the communities we serve. Like delivering the green and gold standard of internet. 100% fiber internet that's as fast, powerful, and reliable as your other hometown favorite, the Packers. TDS, internet that's built Wisconsin strong. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. 
because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Getting older is part of the journey, even with worsening heart failure. So when I had carpal tunnel syndrome, lower back pain, and shortness of breath, I thought that's what getting older felt like. Thank goodness I called my cardiologist. I have ATTRCM, a rare but serious disease, and getting diagnosed early made a difference. If you have any of these warning signs, don't wait. Ask your cardiologist about ATTRCM today. The future of cool, comfortable sleep is here. Introducing the new Sleep Number Climate Cool Smart Bed, the only smart bed in the world that actively cools and effortlessly adjusts to both of you. Sleep up to 15 degrees cooler on each side. It actively cools by drawing warm air away from your body to keep you cool and comfortable throughout the night. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night. And now save 50% on the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus free home delivery when you add a base. Shop a Sleep Number store near you. Today, I'm sharing my favorite gift ever. This holiday season, when you bling them up... He did it! He did it! Bring them up. Nice bracelet. Oh, yeah. She's good. Or bring it bold and drip the gold. They'll let it show, let it show, let it show. With a gift from Rogers and Holland's Jewelers. And now, at our Black Friday sale, engagement rings, pendants, earrings, and more are up to 60% off. It's go time for Let It Show Time. Going on now at Rogers and Holland's. Experience the Channel 3000 news app today. Tailored for your news the way you want it. With a customizable home page and faster page loads, download the Channel 3000 news app. Powered by News 3 Now. In 2011, Wisconsin's Act 10 law brought unprecedented protests to our state capitol. But four months ago, the pendulum swung back. I'll show you how Act 10's repeal could open a new path forward for state workers. Tonight on News 3 Now at 6. Is Dwayne The Rock Johnson's holiday movie a new Christmas classic or just a lump of coal? It's really hard to make a new Christmas classic, yeah. I will say that. Will Loper has a look at Red One's opening weekend in the Loper Report. Hey, Brady and Braden. Red One may have made a decent $34 million this past weekend at the box office. But with a $250 million budget, it has a ways to go. But is this new Christmas movie in theaters destined to become a new holiday classic? What is your name? Chris Kringle. Name? Père Noël. Babo Natale. Santa? Yeah, I'm Santa. There's been plenty of iterations of Santa Claus throughout the history of cinema. <laughs> and in this latest version, it's a muscular J.K. Simmons who dons the red suit. Let's go, Heavy. Yeah. Got it. While Dwayne Johnson plays Callum, his number one bodyguard, in charge of the slick CIA-like operation in the North Pole. Who's with Red? Breach! Someone took Nick. When Jack O'Malley, a tracker who can find anyone played by Chris Evans, is responsible for Santa's kidnapping, it's up to Jack and Callum to find Santa and save Christmas. You're the best tracker in the world. You're gonna help us find him. I work alone. You used to. I'm not gonna like you. I can tell right away, out of everyone here, I like you the least. Of course, that means plenty of action scenes along the way, including one against beefy snowmen. The action is enjoyable, and there are some clever twists on the holiday movie. But overall, Red One feels like it's missing much of the magic. More lifeless than jolly. Dwayne Johnson in particular gives a muted performance that weighs the movie down. Let's save Christmas. Red One is perfect to play in the background during the holidays, but it's not a movie worth rushing to see in theaters. Is my face still there? Yeah, yeah, you look good. For Live at Four, I'm Will Loper. 
we can't be bothered with this movie. No, there's one movie that I'm rushing to see in theaters this week, and uh -huh. it's Wicked. Mm -hmm. It's Wicked. Again, you're ready for it. The I'm green. ready. I'm, ar I'm starting Bucks the week Wicked off Wicked the holidays. Right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for that, too. <laughs> Still ahead on Live at 4, we take a sneak peek at a new mystery book set at UW-Madison. The author of The Bones of Bascom Hall joins us when we're back. Nobody wants to think about cold weather, but now's the time to winterproof your home. Is your house cold every winter? Your home needs foam. Are your heating costs too high? Your home needs foam. Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Your home needs foam. USA Premium Foam is over 35% more efficient than ordinary, weaker insulation. Winterproof now and get 0% financing for 72 months. USA Insulation. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years, we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Big, beautiful sectional for just $9.87 with a free ottoman. Big deals. Black Friday deals. All month long, up to 60% off list, only at Slumberland. Relax in this power reclining sofa for just $7.97 with a free power recliner. Deals so big, prices so low, all month long. Like this incredible sofa for just $2.98. Black Friday, all month long sale. Get these deals while they last, only at Slumberland Furniture. Heck yeah. Menard's 11% rebate ends Thanksgiving Day. I was an occupational therapist and I had lost my position. I was able to just go the next day, oh well, I can dash. I love it for the freedom. I can schedule myself. Also, dashing just gives you a sense of purpose. Having portable benefits would be really awesome for me because I can use them to help cover my vision, co-pays, and adding to my 401k. And I could continue to build that till I retire. Imagine checking your own heart with medical precision from anywhere. Introducing Cardia Mobile 6L, the FDA cleared EKG that provides six times more heart data than any smartwatch. And it detects three of the most common arrhythmias in just 30 seconds, including atrial fibrillation, bradycardia, and tachycardia. Check your heart with the most advanced personal EKG outside the hospital. Get yours at cardia.com or Amazon. Campus police at UW-Madison are baffled by the discovery of human remains in the admin building. Professor Nora Barnes starts looking into it, but someone doesn't want her to. Now, that's not a news headline of the day, but the plot of a new book called The Bones of Bascom Hall by Betsy Drain and Michael Hinden. Joining us is one of those authors. Betsy, how are you? Hello. I'm very fine, and thank you for helping us to <laughs> launch this book out to the world. Well, thank well, you for being with us. We're very excited to yeah. have you here. Um, we were both noting that this book starts off right away. It, it doesn't the first line say it started with a whoosh? It started with a whoosh. So, so what's happening there? Right at the beginning, Nora and her husband, Toby, are sitting in the biggest lecture hall in Bascom Hall. Anybody who graduated from there has probably had a lecture there mm -hmm. when water comes not pouring from the ceiling, gushing down like a waterfall from the ceiling onto uh, the stage along with some bones. Mm. And that's where it all begins. It all begins. You know, who do those bones belong to? And once we find out that it is a full human being there, uh, can some revenge be, you know, can, can this crime be avenged in yeah. any way? We were talking about how some of this is based on real things that happen. I mean, I know the Sterling Hall bombing is in there a little bit. Um, what was it like to write about real things but kind of fill in those gaps? Like we were talking about how you have to fictionalize some of those things because we don't know everything mm. and what everyone said. And 
Well, it was, it was a real challenge. There's a lot on the public record about the bombing of Sterling Hall. Mm -hmm. But because we chose to focus as a character on the one that got away, the one that nobody's heard anything about since he was 22 years old, it was e easier to uh, exercise one's imagination, you know, to uh, to fig to ask yourself what would this person have done, or more importantly for the book, what would his friends who are left, who are all completely imaginary, what what would they have thought about what he has done? So we don't have to really say that anything particular happened to the fourth bomber, so mm -hmm. one that we're really concerned with, that is to say, the one we're wondering, are those bones belonging to that guy? Mm -hmm. um, that we, we don't need to really know what he did, we need to know what his friends, for the purposes of the book, what his friends think he may have done, and what his actions might have meant mm -hmm. to them. It seems like a really good page turner of a mystery that you've created. What do you hope readers walk away with when they read it? Well, I. I'd like them, first of all, to feel the wonder of the University yeah. of Wisconsin as an institution and a place, and of Madison. And as Madison is a place where people, in a humane way, uh, can argue out and think seriously about moral issues, because back to the Vietnam War protest and Sterling Hall, the question is, how far can you go mm -hmm. to push toward violence, mm -hmm. and in that case, by accident toward a murder um, for the sake of justice or another cause. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, well I am excited to read about my alma mater here and all the yeah. things I don't know. But where can people pick this up if they're interested? At any of the bookstores. And of course, you can go online to Amazon, et cetera. And the University of Wisconsin Press, which published it, uh, has it online also. Yeah. Very good. And you have a, you have an event tomorrow? Yes, we do at a Mystery to Me bookstore uh -huh. in Madison, and that's at 6 o'clock. And on Saturday, we're in Spring Green at Arcadia Books. Very good. Very well, thank exciting. you very much for being on with thank us, Thank you very much. Thanks I appreciate it. Alex, you have a book that you can read while you're inside during this rainy day. That's a, that's a wonderful transition, also my alma mater, and I also know where the Arcadia Bookstore is because I went to high school in Spring Green, Wisconsin. So all those connections there. Now, when you look at the planning your evening here, Jacob will be here for the 6 o'clock newscast and the 10 o'clock newscast. We were right on the money. We said it was going to be an impactful weather event with rain, and it will be. At least the temperatures will be warming up tonight as this weather system moves through. Widespread rain and radar 3000 west to east heavy at times across all of southern Wisconsin future track showing periods of showers maybe a clap or two of thunder maybe a brief break right around eight nine o'clock before that next band of rain moves in from the south and from the west the rain will end Tuesday morning very quickly a mild and breezy day across southern Wisconsin and then the cooler part of the weather system moves in. Mixed precipitation lasting Wednesday into Thursday, and next week is also looking active as well. Wednesday in the afternoon, we could see a couple of snow showers as we move a little bit further Wednesday into Thursday on the backside of that weather system. Also, windy conditions and mixed precipitation, especially for Madison and points off towards the east, as it looks like right now. I'm going to step out of the way here because if you have double Alex's, that could be rather confusing. So we've got a contest as part of Winter Weather Awareness Week called Frozen in Time. We talk about the weather all the time. This week, we're going to be talking about winter weather, uh, winter weather awareness topics during our live at four shows and also during the morning as well. But we want to hear your weather stories. We've never done this before on Channel 3. Email us, firstborn at WISCTV.com. We're already getting submissions or just scan that QR code that links you right up via email where you can tell us your story send us your photos and we will try to get those stories and photos on the dates that they happen throughout the course of this winter we're looking forward to continued submissions hey next week i said it's also going to be active sunny we could be looking at a rain snow mix and a rain snow mix on and off all the way leading up to thanksgiving we'll be right back At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. 
The friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present Divas 3, powerhouse Las Vegas vocalists performing your favorite chart-topping hits. Saturday, November 23rd, one show only. Tickets available online now. For patients rehabilitating from a stroke, injury, or illness that encompass health, regaining the highest quality of life is their primary goal and ours because there's nothing like the joy of coming home. After careful review of medical guidance and research on pain relief, my recommendation is simple. Every home should have Salon Paws. Powerful, yet non-addictive. Targeted and long-lasting. I recommend Salon Paws. It's good medicine. He sent me to... It's the Get Holiday Ready sales event with the Ford Crew. Maverick, Ranger. Another truckload of trucks? Big event needs a big, big selection. selection. Right, like the Ford F-Series. Best-selling trucks for 47 years. Gas, hybrid, electric, and big selection means great, great deals. deals. Exactly, which means it's, it's the, the best, best time, time to, to buy. buy. Choose Flex Buy on F-150 and get 1.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 Flex Buy and 1,000 holiday bonus cash. See your Wisconsin Ford dealer. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Experience the Channel 3000 News app today. Tailored for your news the way you want it. With a customizable home page and faster page loads, download the Channel 3000 News app. Powered by News 3 Now. In 2011, Wisconsin's Act 10 law brought unprecedented protests to our state capitol. But four months ago, the pendulum swung back. I'll show you how Act 10's repeal could open a new path forward for state workers. Tonight on News 3 Now at 6. All right, take a look at this. A high-flying rescue operation to pluck a man stuck on a craggy California cliff. Officials say the man was injured and commended all involved on a job well done. I, I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's making my heartbeat. <laughs> stay here on the ground. Yeah, with me. yeah. I'll, I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Went to Ho Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machine. Ho Chunk Gaming Madison. More ways to win. Find your perfect jackpot. Ho Chunk Gaming Madison. Are your home's tired, leaky gutters saying, rain, rain, go away? Is your basement at risk of flooding? To the rescue, Fry Construction and our absolute gutters. Our gutters are custom fabricated on site for a perfect seamless fit that's engineered to excel. Wishing for a break in the clouds? How about a sunny 29% discount on our absolute gutter system? To get this great deal, visit FryConstruction.com today to schedule your roof or siding replacement. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for coming and sharing this time with the family. Stay strong for Grandpa. We'll see you at the field. When you leave this earth, don't leave any regrets. Crest Funeral and Cremation Services helped us make sure Grandpa's never forgotten. We are Crest Funeral and Cremation Services because we know your memories matter. Growing old is part of the journey.